Yo, we back once again, homies, and we are back, bro. Yo, yesterday I was moving my stuff to uni, so that's why there wasn't a video. But we're back now, bro. We got a new setup. Yo, look at this, bro. I've been having philosophical thoughts, bro. Now I've been thinking, bro, different scenarios, imagining different events. And I was thinking, bro, like, what if a, a fat girl was to pull up, bro? Like, a fat girl pulls up, so I was trying to throw hands, bro. Like, what would you do? Like, how do you win that scenario? I was thinking, bro, this is tough, bro, because, like, a fat girl pulls up, right? If you get grabbed, bro, if she gets in close range, it's over, bro. But, like, how do you take down a fat girl, bro? Do you go for the upper body? Do you go for the head? Or do you go for the legs? I'm thinking the legs. And this applies to, like, a fat guy. It could be a man. It could be a girl. It could be anyone. But for some reason, I was thinking a fat girl. Yo, if they come at you, right? If you take the legs, bro, you hit the legs, right? They can't carry their weight anymore. Because even like a regular person, you go for the legs, they start, you know, dead legs and shit. They start falling over, bro. So a fat girl, you go for the legs, bro. She's going to fall, homie. <laughs> like, there's no way she can hold herself up. So you just go like Muay Thai leg kicks and shit, bro. You could also do like a front kick, bro, to the knees. Because, you know, the knees are very sensitive, bro. If the knees get hit. Yo, you're going down, bro. I got like video footage to show you guys. Look at this, bro. So this is like the original kick I was thinking, bro. <laughs> so... Normally you aim lower down, bro, because this one you're going to the stomach. And when you go for the stomach, bro, like, she ain't gonna feel nothing, bro. Because she big, you feel me? So, you go for the legs, right? Like, the knees and shit. She's gonna start buckling and shit, like, falling over. And once they're on the ground, okay, it's basically over, bro. You just run away. Like, you're safe from then. Now that I think about it, why don't you just run from the start? Yeah, maybe just run from the start. You lose either way, bro. It's like, if you win, they're like, yo, you hit a girl, bro, it was messed up. But then if you lose, you get roasted. So there's no winning scenario. So just run, homie. Like, I think just run. But there's another option, okay? I got two, two kick styles, bro. We got the Muay Thai kick. Now this one's harder to execute. I don't really know how to do this shit. So I'm gonna stick to the front kick. If I ever come into contact, you know, with, with a fat girl trying to pull up, throw hands or some shit. So here you see, He's aiming for the back of the leg, bro. That guy's stumbling and shit. Now, on a big girl, bro, she's gonna go down. Like, that would send her down easily, bro. This guy's like an athlete, so even an athlete's getting wrecked by that. A regular person, that shit's gonna own them, bro. Maybe I should do, like, a, a demonstration or some shit. I gotta get my camera working, then I can do a full-on demonstration. Yo, can I even do it on the bed? Nah, this shit looks retarded, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing that now. Maybe another day, bro, when I get my other camera set up. Yo, I forgot to mention one last thing, bro. Don't get caught, homie. If she gets on top of you and the bitch sits on you, bro, like, you're f you're screwed, bro. Now, no F-words, homie. Do not get sat on by the girl, bro, if she's fat. The weight, homie, is too much. Like, you could go to the gym, bench press and shit. There's no way, bro, because the human body weight is, like, way different, bro. You can't push that shit up. There's different tactics. There's, like, jujitsu and shit. I don't really know that the arts of that. So I'm basically screwed in that moment, bro, because... Bro, like, there's no counterplay, homie. There's no counterplay. So just don't get grabbed. If you don't get grabbed, you're good. Yeah, that's basically my theory. I don't know why. I've been thinking about this a lot. Like, I've been getting dreams and, like, visions of this shit. I'm back in uni, homie. I've been starting to hit the gym. But the head-ass school gym, bro, they don't let me go work out. Like, I went the other day, right? And then suddenly today, I tried to book, a like, a day to work out, bro. Because because of coronavirus, they're, like, making you book in advance and shit. You don't want, like, a thousand head-asses grouped in one place. So now there's like limits to like 50 people per hour and shit. So I tried to book. It worked the first few times. But then today I tried to book again. And the stupid thing says I need a membership, bro. Like, why are they doing that to me, man? Like, so I'm going to go down and rage at them, bro. I don't know why they're doing this shit. I'm not paying for a membership, bro. I already go to the school, bro. What the fuck, bro? They tripping. So maybe I'm going to have to do calisthenics, bro. Like, I see some of those dudes. They're big, bro. Like, they be doing pull-ups and shit. Like handstands and stuff. Maybe I could become one of them because they seem pretty lit. But yo, I'm I'm so heated right now, bro. Because if I can't even go to the gym, like I'm gonna lose my gains. So yeah, that's basically it, bro. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're going back to daily uploads, homie. Yo, this camera angle's messed up, bro. I gotta figure this shit out. Yo, my other setup was lit. This one's ass. I feel like my chair is way lower. So it's like, the camera's not angled correctly, bro. So I'm like, always to, to the right of the screen, homie. I need to be centered. But yeah, that's it, bro. I'm out of here.